Welcome back all of you all. Today we've got with us the very talented Dr. Shalu Priya. I am especially excited to have this interview with you, Dr. Shalu. She has got NEET SS rank 36, uh, with which she has already got a seat in IGIMS, MCH Gynecology, Oncology. She's also performed wonderfully in INISS and her, her AML rank is 9, with which she's very likely to get a MCH Gynecology, Oncology seat in one of the institutes of national importance like uh, JITMAR or AIMS. Uh, in Delhi or Rishikesh or elsewhere. So many congratulations on this, Dr. Shalu. I am very proud of you for this wonderful performance. You can see the excitement from my face that I'm happy, so happy for you after uh, hearing all the results that you have just discussed with me. So let's start with your background. Where did you do your UG and PG from? And when did you start preparing for the super specialty exams, Dr. Shalu? Thank you so much, ma'am, for so many praising words for me. You and deserve for them all. And for giving me this opportunity to share my experience with all other aspiring candidates. Uh, so, ma'am, I've done my UG from IGMS Patna only. Uh, we were the first batch of MBBS here. Thereafter, I've done my MS in Ops and Gyne from Calcutta National Medical College, Kolkata. And mm -hmm. from there, I have uh, aspired to take Gyne Onko as my future oh. career. So when was this? When did you finish your post-graduation? I finished my post-graduation in 2021. Oh, and okay. then in 2022 was my first attempt. Okay. There in NEET SS, I had secured a rank of 153, but obviously I could not land up anywhere with that rank. And in INI November, I had secured rank 8 that time, but there were just three seats. Okay. So last time also your performance was very nice. But the seats were not as many. Or yes. So great. this time I thought to give the best I can with all the resources possible. Wonderful. And thanks to you and ReproNeet Learning, which made my dream come true. I'm so proud. I'm so happy for this. Now let's start your journey from post-graduation. What all would you read in post-graduation? Was there time to read? No, ma'am. Obviously, there was not time to read with that hectic schedule of post-graduation in Kolkata with a huge patient load. Uh, Full-time reading is obviously not possible, but my seniors had guided me to just read those few topics which we used to see daily, the general ops topics. So from day one, we ha I had started referring to Williams Ops for mm -hmm. ops. So this so is I a book that all of the toppers are saying they read, Williams Obstetrics. Yes. For obstetrics, Williams was my whole and soul uh, book. So few small important topics, the day-to-day -day topics which we used to see daily. So those were the topics that I tried to cover during my first year. Then eventually when I had time, especially during COVID times when there were duties in which we used to get one week yes. on and one week off, yes. that helped me a lot that time. Moreover, my uh, guide and HOD, Dr. Aarti Vishwas, ma'am, she used to uh, give me a few topics for uh, to prepare slides on and things like that due to which I had started referring to other higher books also like Novak for Gyne and uh, she made me realize there are a few other important topics which we don't use to see day on a day-to-day -day basis but yeah that is also important for us so that's how I started referring Novak for Gyne so these two books I tried to cover during my PG ship so I was through with William Sobs and Novak's Gyne during my PG. During your post-graduation only. Yes. Yeah, so this is important that students face their time on books which are not going to help later. Just for the exit exams, you will read small books and you will prepare your theory. So that doesn't help once you, after your PG, if you start preparing for MCQs, re having read those books for three years, there are books which I don't want to name. Having read those books for three years is of no help at all. That just wasted your time. So if you start Williams from first year only, at least that revision you will have completed. No? So you will be more confident. So it is very good that you started reading Williams from the first year. And this is the uh, advice to all the first year PGs, second year PGs or third year PGs, open Williams and start reading it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so how did you prepare for the exit exam? Okay. Then after my post-graduation, when for the first time when I appeared for it, uh, I saw that I was nowhere around the aspirants. Like no, no. First about the exit exam, the university exam. How did you prepare for it? For that, I stuck to those two books only, uh, Novak for Gyne and Williams for Ops. And 
for endocrine i used to refer spiroff but spiroff yes. is a very big book you know to complete it to revise it no no i did not complete it ma'am just the yes. few important topics you and like, important topics which you read so during your pg you can open big books is what i would advise if you have completed pg after that reading big books is not a good uh, choice you don't have much time after pg i mean it's like a whole new world if we start reading it after pg yes. after pg there's no time left yes ma'am and the level of competition that's around uh, if we are if we just refer to the other smaller book that would make our exit easy but later yes. on we have yes, to use will be difficult on. exit will be easy because they're so easy to mug you mug them and you write uh, in the exam but that's that and the story ends there you don't remember anything after that one more uh, advantage that i got for my exit exam was that in our department we used to have uh, mock test types like every 15 days in the last 3 or 4 months of our third year so that was like uh, preparation for our exit exam um with the duties we had to appear for those paper uh, exams also so you had to read now let's come to after your university exam you cleared the exam so when did you decide that you will do gynecology or oncology um uh, i had that always in the back of my mind during your pg also yes, so when did you start actually preparing for neat ss uh, ma'am uh, after completing my pg so because with pg the main focus was just exit exam that time so after pg ship when during my sr ship i started giving more time to the videos the mcq so when did you join refinite learning ma'am i think i the full fledged one year course i joined last year only okay 2022 yes after i saw my result in last year's exam so yes. i thought that you decided that you need more focused preparation yes ma'am and with repro need learning ma'am the best thing was that it gave the structure i had the whole knowledge but i did not know how to channelize it in the mcq way how to Uh, make my study in a more structured way so that it can help me because one day i would study a topic next day i would see a patient of some other topic then i would go haywer looking for that patient and the topic which i started was already left somewhere in the middle with so this was the main problem so with repro so after joining you would focus only on repro need learning contents or you went back to the textbooks also uh, for few topics i did go back because after studying from the textbook that picture is there in the mind yes. where we have that so you want to relate topic. all the things that you're reading yes. yes so that would make the revision easier if we revise from the same source yes did you make your own notes yes ma'am i did yes uh, you had that, a lot of time you devoted one year to preparing so you had time to make notes yes those notes were mainly that i had prepared for my exit exam and i used to keep adding new new information on those same notes only so this is important if you are doing post graduation your basics will form in the post graduation only like all the toppers have their notes ready before the exit exam only so don't take shortcuts for university exam start preparing notes from before the university exams and those notes become important for mcqs also yes ma'am and But even if someone is not aspiring for mch then also those notes are very helpful for yes. day to day practice for clinical for practice, practice also mm -hmm. knowledge is very important to sit in the opd you need a lot of knowledge to sit in the ot you don't need so much knowledge because you've been told the steps and you do but to diagnose and to write a treatment you need a lot of knowledge lot of working knowledge wonderful now tell me just before the exam 2 3 months what were you, what was your focus on ma'am 2 3 months i had totally dedicated my time just for the preparation so i had uh, i did not do any sr ship in the last 3 4 months okay last 3 4 months university yes ma'am that time my full focus was just on preparation your videos i used to make sure that each and every video i have seen it two or three times minimum and few topics which were my weaker points i used to dedicate more time for those topics all the mcqs ma'am mcq practice is a must even if you have knowledge and you don't know how to incorporate that in an mcq that knowledge is of no use for a in competitive exam the best was ma'am as i already mentioned was your tnd sessions in which uh, if one option is correct okay that's the answer everyone knows but why aren't the other three options also correct yes. like everyone has their own perspective of justifying one answer uh, one of the options yes. and that might not be the actual answer so tnd yes. helped us a lot 
to justify why aren't the other options also correct so that was the best part and that was i think very instrumental in my preparation okay. so i think i'll continue with test and discussion for this batch also while the remaining topics we'll do the mcq discussions if, if it is so helpful yeah. and i had also discussed i'll take in a lot of effort to discuss recalls just yes, because ma'am. yes ma'am the recalls were also very very helpful because especially for ini when they just uh, recall not the same mcq as such but yeah they do refer back to the same topics in yes. some way or the other it was not so, i didn't have enough time to discuss oncology ini ss recall so i do regret that but then i am the only person doing everything so this the next batch i think i will take gynecology oncology recalls also so so nice to uh, listen to so many things from you how did you find the papers both neat ss and ini ss and compared to the last time i would like to mention that last year's neat ss for more like general ops and gynae yeah. based where the reproductive medicine or the onco questions were very less in number but this time it was a total change in the pattern i think almost uh, 40 50% questions were based on gynae onco few from reproductive medicines and uh, the rest were from general ops and gynae and the onco questions were also not uh, very simple they very were simple. yes ma'am they were i remember two or three questions which if i wouldn't have referred to repro neat i would have definitely done them wrong which i think most of people would have done them wrong and just because i had read your notes as senior classes so i was yes, sure ma'am. that yeah, this is the answer yes, so that and for ini ini has their own level that's nothing yes. to mention but yeah they do ask question from few topics which they are very fond of ini is difficult but it is more predictable because neat ss my results are not consistent but in ini my results are always consistent i always have many qualifiers in ini ss it is a predictable paper difficult but if you do focus reading uh, most of the students who are intelligent who have worked well will crack these exams i have yes. seen this just uh, look at the pattern of ini like they are fond of asking trials they are fond of high yes. tech topics yes. so these are their hit topics which they will definitely touch yes. if you go through all the recalls and you do all the topics of all the recalls all the questions if you do the entire topic then this neat ss theory exam becomes the mcq exam becomes easy yes ma'am the pattern and is easy it's difficult but for those who are preparing like i am the kind of student who you give me a pattern and i'll read that and then if you ask me those questions i'll answer but like like last year's neat ss asking general obg ward round questions gets difficult for me and my students yes ma'am actually the, the changing pattern that is the thing yes. which changes the whole scenario yes. we are preparing the whole year for gynae onco not the usual they ask the simple period. obg questions yes then they ask questions changes. which everyone can answer so the competition gets tough and even those who have not prepared will clear those exams yes. so this year the paper was better i felt better after the paper and the results also have been good that the students who had prepared well have got good scores Yes, ma'am. What I'm seeing in this paper, yes, wonderful. It was so nice having you over, Dr. Shalu. I wish that I could take this interview for a longer time, uh, but uh, so nice to have you over. I'll stay in touch with you. I will stay in touch with you. Some students I've been in touch with them, and 